Happy Thursday. Woohoo. <laughs> it's not where I thought you were going with that, but all right. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was uninspired. Um, hello, everyone. How are What's you? What's up? Hola. Yes, it is. Uh, as people have been commenting, it is hot. Is it? Good Lord. Um, I think today it's terrible. So the Hmm. problem is like when it's, when it's a hundred and whatever degrees out and then the sun's beating down on the building and the building has no insulation, it just (laughs) turns into an oven. (laughs) And so, yeah, it sucks. Um, they, so we're, we're making really great, progress on it though like the um the building's actually uh fully enclosed so they got the nice. expansion Ooh. done so it's now a four thousand four hundred square foot building yeah but i know it's that's... actually it's yeah. actually uh more like five thousand or fifty two hundred or something if you count the back area right we can't no, give away too much. You're only two minutes into the stream. It's only, I think it's 44 based on the size. I on think the entire all... thing? I For thought the... we measured it and that didn't, the square footage didn't count the loft area. Oh, it doesn't include the loft. Correct. Mm. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yes. You're right. If you're including the loft, yeah, it's probably closer to 5,000 square feet. Mm. Nice. Sorry, what did you say? And then, yeah, yeah so... That, there's one problem with that, which is when you enclose it, it gets you, hotter. Lose, you lose the circulation and there's more, there's more greenhouse effect, more oven, <laughs> more stagnant the air. Is, the problem is, is we don't have the doors in. So we just right. enclosed oh. everything. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So now it's, it's down to one door. Oh, geez. So you got the one and it faces, um, it faces the sun in the, in the afternoon. So, Steve. <laughs> well, Dan and I got two of the AC units put in yesterday. Mm, nice. Yep. And one one today. Nice. So that's three out of five. We got three out of five out of ACs. Five. And they work. Woohoo. <laughs> cool. So are you are I they was running out? After doing the wiring, it's like Chinese a Chinese little boy wrote the yep. instructions. Oh, yeah, the instructions. Oh are, great. They oh, yeah. are terrible. That's how all those are. <laughs> yeah. Did you yeah. do the office first, I assume? No, uh, we just did the office today. We did oh, the okay. two. We did the two far side ones. We did the figured... easy, easiest to hardest, right? All right. Yeah, Those yeah. Are the easiest. The office is sort of got a little couple challenges, and then the two interior ones are going to be a bitch. Yeah, I kind of figured to do the office first. You'd have like the frozen room to go into for you know solitude. <laughs> like, oh, that's not a bad <laughs> idea. True. <laughs> Knock well, that bitch got, down well, to sixty-two. <laughs> It'll probably do that easily in the office. The AC unit's way too big for that little office. Oh, yeah. When you said how big it was, it's like... Yeah. It's a 9,000 BTU unit for like a couple hundred the square feet. Yeah. The office is uh, 8 by 12, I think. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was going to guess 10 by 12 from the video, but yeah, it's so that's way over. That's about like at least five or six times I mean, too large you for leave that room. the door open and still get it cold in there. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, basically. Basically, um, oh, here's a good question. How long did it take to install Ooh, huh. the AC units? I'm looking to add some to my garage. Same, today. Billy. Same. Um, I mean, you I could. Think if I had to do it start to finish, it'd probably take. I could probably do it in an hour. No. Yeah. Well, uh, does he need wiring and stuff? Can, okay, With wiring and everything? That. Well, okay, two hours. No, no. Okay, Josh is being overly <laughs> optimistic, dude. We did the office one today in like an hour. It was the like two thing. hours. It was like two hours. Okay, even two hours. But <laughs> you gotta consider like, like three hours. <laughs> but we also have like super easy access to wiring and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah what What's like, the fascia on your garage wall, Billy? Is it brick? Is it? Yeah, it depends. Hi- hardy depends board. On, there's a lot of problems, right? So like. Okay, let's say best case scenario, two hours. Worst case scenario, it could be a total, it could be at least a day, yeah. a weekend. <laughs> when you did your first one at your last house, how long did that take? That's probably a better representation. That took basically a day. Okay, there you go. But I was installing. Man, you got to factor in the DIY. Well, 
DIY experience. These guys, I think, minus me, have like decades or a lot of DIY experience. Also... Whereas, like, if you're someone like me, who's more of a newbie, yeah, plan a whole weekend around it. There's yeah. also there's also like that was the third one we installed. Yeah. Hmm. So like yep. the first one took you most of the day. You got two mm-hmm. done in the first. That yesterday, yesterday. Part of that, too. part of that was it was 120 degrees in the building. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that. What are you? Sorry, my my kids in here. And, oh. You got back in. <laughs> oh, yes. Funny. Hope they work. Hey, your what is in there? You have a cat? No, my kid. Oh, what are you doing? Yep, I. Uh, so I did the opposite route, and I paid someone to do it because. <laughs> whatever i don't have I don't oh yeah have what was that i hear that's super expensive oh yeah because yeah, first of all you have electrical cheap. and then you have the ac guy yeah so yeah what what was the well, deal how much, yeah how much did they charge you um with the installation or without the installation because i also had to do insulation just the mini split hookup like insulation no, no. electrical and the mini split was six grand In- so that the included split? parts yeah. too including yeah. buying a mini split including buying the mini split that's not terrible. Okay. It's not terrible. It, so, and with the professional okay. install, you get double the warranty. So I have a 12 year warranty on it. What brand of AC? Uh, Lennox. <laughs> Lennox? Yeah. From Mini Split? Yep. They make Mini Splits? It, it's all just rebranded Chinese shit, but. I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah. How many, how many BTU did you do? It's two ton, whatever that is. 20, 24,000. Yeah. And Nine. it's got the heat pump, so it can do heat in the winter. Yep. Good move. But move. yeah, the uh, the electric bill that's going to be almost four hundred dollars will be fun though. Oh, dude, I can't wait for, <laughs> for our, ours. Ours is going to be like a thousand dollars. Oh God, yeah, at least. Yeah, I got the re- commercial. I got the report from Constellation of like your usage is high. Like, oh yeah, yeah. everyone's is. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait for that one. Yeah. Yeah, but then you get to say climate controlled in your ad when you sell that's your car, right. and yeah. then that ah, should bring in garage and climate control. Yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Yeah, well, it was it was so hot after they boxed in the building that the last two days in a row I got up before dawn to go start working on the shop. So I got yesterday I got at the shop at about five. I'm gonna say five twenty five thirty, and today I got the shop about six. So like. Yesterday I got up at like four forty five. Today I got up at like four something. And then You're sleeping in, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like good I was like, oh, I can I can sleep for another half hour and then I was like, nah, let's get going. Yeah. Let's do this. Cause the problem is we have to have all the electrical done by Monday. Cause that's when they start doing the uh the insulation. Oh, okay. So you want the insul, you know, you want the electrical done before they do the insulation because they spray right over the the wire. Yeah, they're gonna yep. spray over everything. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. So oh crap! You're doing closed cell. Right? I was I was like Meg was like oh what what all do you have left? I'm like oh I got I got a wire two more or three more exterior lights, right? Three exterior lights. I've got a wire at the one uh, section in the low part, but then I totally forgot we got the cameras. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, we're gonna do a electric car charger too. Oh, cool! Yes. Oh, you want that? <laughs> I, I've told you like ten times already. No, let's I not totally forget about that. <laughs> well, <laughs> that one's easy though because it's gonna be close to the breaker box. Yeah, it's just a fifty amp. Yeah, breaker, but we right? don't have. We're we're out of wire again. Oh. <sighs> okay. Anyone want to guess how many feet oh, shit. of Romex <laughs> I bought and used? Hmm. Let's say. Take a guess. How many feet of wire feet. have I installed? 450. How, how, how high is the building? The building is, I'm going to say, 25 feet tall. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. 600 from Hugh. Oh, no. That's way low. I say around four fifty. Thousand from Harry. I'm going twenty five hundred. Twenty five hundred oh, from damn, you. Twenty five hundred. <laughs> With all those freaking lights, yeah, man. High roller. Thousand. 
I th- I guess. I'm not entirely sure because I haven't totally kept track, but I think it's between 1500 and 1750. All right. All right. And I still have probably another 250. Wow. Jeez. So I'm gonna probably have two thousand feet of wire. All right, and that's expensive, I'm in the right? Ballpark. Oh, it's it's over a dollar a foot. Yeah, copper is no joke. It's so like yeah, I've spent. This is the Romex that's in the enclosed. Yeah, it's the um, enclosed yeah. chip too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The so fuck's wire. Yeah, yeah. I've easily spent over two thousand dollars just in wire. And I was oh. thinking about that. I'm like, man, I've literally been doing almost nothing but wiring stuff for over two straight weeks. Like every single day for like <laughs> between 10 and 18 hours a day or whatever. And so I'm like, think about what you're saving. Oh, on, yeah. It would have uh, easily, if, a labor. If we would have, yeah. if we would have hired an electrician, I guarantee this would cost at least $25,000. Oh, easy. Easy. E- even this, mm-hmm. even the stuff I had done here, like I got the quote back and they quoted like 80 feet of like conduit wire. I was like, a, you're not running conduit wire because it's in the attic. You're going to run just straight. Right. You're just going to run wire. B, you don't need 80 fucking feet. It's 40 feet across. Like you're doubling this to pad your line, you're like pad your pocket. Yeah. And the guy's like, yeah, I guess I can cut it in half. <laughs> like, you're not, you're not going to take it with conduit? No, it, it, you're going to have to use some conduit. So it's just easier to quote it all as this. I'm like, <laughs> um, easier well, to make money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. I, I hope I, man. My fingers from Dude. like cutting wire and whatever are so oh, chewed up. Yeah. Like, I, I mean, yeah. just every inch of them from has the last like, few cuts. days, my hands are beat. Oh, my so do you uh, turn the power off when you're working with the oh, wires? Oh, God, yes. Well, I mean, you turn, you're, okay. you're not. You're not wiring live stuff. Hell it's no. All, it's only 220. Right. I'm... Yeah. <laughs> Dude, only. <laughs> I did have. I did have. I've had too far a fall had from the scissor lift. Two small incidents, because you know if you're wiring oh. stuff, stuff's gonna happen, right? Two incidents. Oh, I got, I got mousetrap gave us five bucks. I gotta nice. pop this up. I'm, oh, yeah, I'm I've been here a while, mousetrap. Hey, mousetrap. Well, thanks, thanks, mousetrap. I haven't seen you in a while. He um, had one earlier too. There's like two bucks. He did. I, I missed it. Yeah, sorry. Um, the, so two incidents. First one. So the the front panel is off the breaker box right because we're adding fuses or adding breakers and whatever so all the main the main buses are exposed yeah and i was i was running some romex through like a hole and the stuff curved around while i wasn't paying attention and it kind of flailed about and it touched the main bus and then touched the bottom oh shit it just goes (laughs) And like I just saw this bright light and sparks, and I was like, "Oh, oh. shit!" <laughs> it just instantaneously melted through the metal sheath on the wire, and I was like, "Okay, well, that was a lesson learned." So, yep. by the way, I do have like I have rubber gloves I'm using on the mains and everything because I'm I'm not gonna die. Yeah. Um, wow. So that was like holy shit that that was scary. So now every time I'm like getting the Romex near the box and it starts like curving towards, I'm like, no, no, no. (laughs) Like, like, hell no, get away from that. Um, So then the second one was, um, so basically all of the LEDs are 240, right? 220, 240, whatever. Same thing. Um, So they're, they're, you know, high power, whatever. So I had... um, for the low section of the left side of the building, I was wiring up that stuff and my switch, uh, I, I was dumb and I accidentally flipped my switch upside down when I installed <laughs> it. So up was uh, uh, <laughs> up was off and down was on. Oh, good job. <laughs> and so I had it off as I was running it and I had the breaker on because I needed light for the other section because it was it was one breaker running two two switches right and <laughs> i'm feeding the wire through and also the wire touches the building uh one of the like actual cut wires right where it was exposed touch the building just, just <laughs> pop pop the breaker really good i'm like oh okay but that was just a breaker test that, that's a good thing yeah, to yeah, do. I was just, yeah. I was just verifying the breaker works that's right that's right <laughs> 
So, all right, uh, good You're stuff. Still here with us. Yeah. Yes, yes. Funny thing, you mentioned this. Um, the beauty of where we're located is we're not in any city. We're in uh, what's called an ETJ, and you don't have the pull permits. Yep. Because there's no organization that's uh, overlooking everything. You do, however, I did look this up. Even in the ETJ, you still have to do a permit for septic. That's fair. Yeah. So, but lighting, concrete, hmm. building, whatever, doesn't matter. Extra ter- extraterritorial. I almost said extraterrestrial. Yeah, <laughs> jurisdiction. Extraterrestrial jurisdiction. <laughs> yep. Yeah, because the state probably governs huh. septics and wells, right? Correct. Yeah. yeah. So state does the the septic and wells and whatever, um, and then cities and municipalities do the local whatever stuff. Mm. Yep. Did you figure so. out what all that water, those um, big tanks were? Like, what's the what's the water yes. situation? So that the way it works. Um, so you've got the well. The well pumps the water up. It currently pumps it up and then immediately pumps it back underground in the PVC pipe that goes. 30 feet over and into those two tanks. Hmm. Then once those tanks, there's a float switch in there. Once those tanks get high enough, it shuts off the well. Then those tanks have a pump Hmm. that pushes the water back into the building into a, what I'm going to guess is like a 40 gallon accumulator. And that's the water that actually, that's your pressure tank. That's the actual pressure for the, for the spigots. Yeah. So it's weird. It's an above ground cistern, but yeah. I guess, so I like, guess that's okay. I mean, it's really kind of unnecessary because you've got the 40 gallon accumulator, but yeah. if you're going to like do some sort of substantial watering, then yes. So like, I mean, we could probably yeah, it saves get, wear and tear in the wellhead, right? Yeah. Like your well pump is only getting kicked mm-hmm. on occasionally. Yeah. And when it does, it runs for a you know a good period of time as opposed to you know yeah on whatever. off on off on off oh right yeah here's a question do you have a generator are you gonna get one no um, I mean because it's like <clears throat> yeah if the like, power goes out at our building we just go home <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> you know yeah like, that's true I mean you're not living there but you won't have water I'm thinking more in the winter those freezes but, so funny enough oh. even without power you'd still have water pressure because of the accumulator yeah i guess until it runs out right until it runs out. yeah so we we it's funny enough we cut the pipes and the the water pumps are all shut off right now and we've had water for what three days now without Mm. any yeah 40 gallons that's big (laughs) yeah i mean you know i'm sure you're not showering you can toilet a bunch you know whatever so Oh, oh. We get the Twitch love. Apparently. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. All right. Grave Digger 69. <laughs> That's right. Different crowd from Twitch. Easy. <laughs> Soul- Soulless. Okay. Bitchies. Just having a beer. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much what we're oh, doing. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. It's oh, getting wow. spicy. <laughs> All right. Twitch is for the win tonight. <laughs> Can YouTube people see those Twitch comments? Twitch is where the tweets no. go. Yeah, oh, yeah. So they're probably yeah. For context, we're getting comments from Twitch that are uh, spicy. Yeah. Spicy. <laughs> well, it's all right. They'll be bored in a minute. Yep. Oh wow! Congratulations. Oh, he's got a giant chicken. <laughs> yeah, he's got a large long chicken, and, long and thin. <laughs> oh my god! It's like Dude, wow, it keeps going. I is, love it. You uh, yeah. How do they find themselves here? Uh, well, I don't know. You have nothing better to do. Why are we broadcasting on Twitch is a better question. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's actually a very valid point, right? It's like two people in a random argument just like stumble their way into your live stream and are yeah. continuing. To talk about how big their male chickens are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Yeah. We're just going to bye. Yeah. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. Uh, it gives us an error when you ban Twitch people. It's oh kind of funny. shoot! And then I hit reload, and then okay, and he. Can oh, mine are still coming through. <laughs> oh, I lost them all. Damn it! Oh yeah, well I banned them. So yeah, I don't know, Lotus. He's gonna send pictures, but Dan banned them. So I lost all my chats. 
I'm sorry. I don't need to deal with children <laughs> who are like obsessed with chickens yeah. <laughs> and the size of their chickens. I, out of curiosity, like who, who, <laughs> seriously, what, what mental deficit is going on where like the first thing you do is be like, Hey everybody, I have a large chicken. Yeah. <laughs> I'll send you pictures. Anyone, I don't anyone care. That ha- anyone that has to say that, yeah, in, in fact, has a very small yeah. chicken. <laughs> yeah, I just like this is very interesting. Like, okay, oh uh, yes. Well, anyway, Damn. troll folk, be trolling. Probably. Yeah, that's right. Arkansas folk. <laughs> Casey, is that you? <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, we we might add a carousel. We 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 were trying to buy one. I really and... really 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 want one. <laughs> yeah, we wanted one bad, but the deal fell through. So like a turntable type thing. If anybody car? has a has any leads on a cheap one or anything like I'm that, I'm telling you, make your own. Email. Just build your own that you can just yeah. push the car around. It'll just spin a few. Revolutions. You could attach four of those all wheel <laughs> wheel dollies with two by fours, and then you could just spin the car. No. It would look ghetto as shit. It'd be awesome. <laughs> oh yeah. That sounds great. I think, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna make the shop is gonna be showroom quality. It's, it's gonna, gonna be classy. Be legit. It's That's gonna good. be classy. It's gonna be. Not, it's not gonna be like the Howard. It's not gonna be the Howard. But... Yeah. No, I mean it's gonna be Texas chic. Yeah, yeah. You got a business to run. You're not the Howard. Yeah. So. <clears throat> and we don't have the budget. I mean, yes. yeah. Like we've spent. We'll probably have over two hundred thousand dollars just in modifications to the building, not right. even like dressing it up. Yeah, yeah. So to dress it up would probably be another couple hundred grand. It's like uh, yeah, depending. I think on what you I do. Mean, there's no re- there's no reason to. Yeah, and and why? Like it doesn't really help us sell. Business. I think we are gonna do once it's done and we have time and stuff. I'm, there's the upstairs loft has a room. And I'm gonna make that into a bedroom, so when our friends come, they have a place yeah. to stay. Nice, That'd be cool. <laughs> yeah, at some point, like so, like we'll have to do a nice kitchen at some point. Yeah, um, we'll have to do like a few. There's a like, you know, like for step one is like just get it operational. Yeah, and then once it's operational, then we can start making it like. Harry Dude. said we need the big metal horse like at the Howard. <laughs> I know that we don't, like, we don't have fifty grand for a for a metal horse. <laughs> for a ten foot cool. tall metal horse. I mean, that would be, very be cool, cool though. He he made some smaller ones, right? He made two smaller ones. Okay. Well, they were sold. commissioned. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you're right oh yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah, we just have a refrigerator with a lot of beer in it. Yeah, close enough. I was gonna take a picture. I went to the store today and bought like four cases of beer and just loaded. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> it was funny. He's like, he was like, "Hey, I'm heading from EAG to the shop. Do you need anything?" I'm like, "Beer." <laughs> <laughs> yep. He's like, "Oh yeah, we need to stock the fridge." And I'm like, "Okay, yeah." Shows up with all these cases of beer. I'm like, "Damn, you weren't messing around." <laughs> Texas chic. Can you elaborate on what is Texas chic? It's you know like it's a little bit rednecky. You got like, like there's there's like a Texas vibe about things. Yeah, that, right. Mm-hmm. There's some shiplap, but actually, there's a gun rack in front of it. It's right? funny that she said that because it is kind of hard to explain to somebody. I can picture yeah. it in my mind exactly yeah. what it is. But Meg, yeah. Meg could probably explain it well. Maybe. Right? Like for example, I guess I don't know if we've discussed this, but that rear wall right now is like corrugated metal and it's like four different colors and it looks like shit we're gonna do a reclaimed wood wall that's very texas chic yeah right right. so like and like i bought a um (laughs) very small things right i bought a a thing to wind up your your hose for the the water and I, it has a little Texas star on it. Of course, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's rod, yep. rod iron. I, I was going to say, there's got to be a Texas star at least in three spots. It, yeah, at least three spots. And it's rod iron. It's always got to be rod yep. iron, black yep. painted rod iron, right? Yep. A few copper yeah. heads just hanging out inside the building. Oh, there's scorpions. <laughs> We've already killed like four or five scorpions in the building. Oh, yeah. I believe that. Yeah. There's there's definitely some some stuff here. 
dealer fun get the fire gear in now <laughs> oh yeah yeah we definitely i already brought a fire extinguisher to the building i'll have you know get metal chicken for the front hmm interesting you could oh which I chicken mean, are we talking about here john yeah right <laughs> i just asked chat gpt to tell me about Texas cheek style. Oh no! Decorations. And what do we get? It's really good. It's way too long to to, to read. You say shorten that into like two sentences. Oh, yeah. Ke- Kevin's it? got okay. it there. The opposite of the Howard. I think. Say, sorry, chic, I don't get By the way, everyone's spelling chic S H E K. I think it's, it's spelled C H I C. Yeah. 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 It's it's a weird word. Okay, I told it to shorten it. Here we go. It combines Western Bohemian and Southwestern influences, resulting in a unique fusion of ruggedness and femininity. It features Western staples like cowboy boots and denim paired with flowy maxi dresses, fringe vests, and vibrant Southwestern patterns. (laughs) The the fashion aesthetic emphasizes relaxed silhouettes, layering earthy tones, statement accessories, and a mix of high and low fashion. There you go. Yeah, it's about right. Someone asked what Texas Cheek style was. And That's so I asked Chat GPT. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> so ba- right. So, ba- so basically. <laughs> don't I don't apologize. We need yeah. one of those don't worry AI uh, image generators to show us oh, an image yeah. of a of a Texas chic uh, car shop. Yeah. Texarkana? No. No. Texarkana is like, so there's East Texas, which is like different. Yeah. No. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Josh's wife was cracking oh, up. They want you to say hi. <laughs> can't see the comments anymore hi <laughs> hey. I can't hear you because he wears Texas sheep yep. <laughs> cowgirl <laughs> cowgirl drag queen that's well it's not too far off it's not too far off yeah I mean there's yeah it's I like how it said like there's a, a ruggedness combined with femininity right? yeah and that's kind of it like there's I don't know you know what it is it's wearing uh, a bow tie with a sports coat and cowboy boots yeah. with denim <laughs> pants yeah. there you <laughs> go yep. that is texas chic sounds yep. like having like having like thin rimmed glasses and like nice haircut <laughs> it's like yeah. it's Something like like that i don't know it's passing for formal while being <laughs> informal yeah yeah they call it a texas tuxedo yeah <laughs> Yeah, like if you go to the uh, Ferrari Club of America F1 reception, oh god, yeah, they actually they actually say a Texas tuck is tux is recommended. Yep, that, that's the way to spot Texas tourists in New Mexico is that Texas tuxedo with a giant turquoise bolo tie. Oh yeah, you gotta have the bolo. Yeah. But it's gotta be turquoise if you're a tourist in New Mexico. That's yeah, yeah. yeah that's New thing. Mexico and Arizona for sure. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> that's how yeah. you spot a Texas tourist. Yep. <laughs> and a revolver on the hip. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. There you go. That's awesome. Perfect. Describes it perfectly. Except we replace God with cars. That's right. Cars, yeah, guns, cars, and barbecue. Per- Dude, if we had like, if we were cheesy, yeah, we had the word on, you know, like words on the building. You know, Dan, I, you know, the sign that we, I had my mom make for us. I could have yeah. her make one that said that, <laughs> and we could hang it up in the shop, in the office. In yeah, the office. <laughs> that would be great. Absolutely. I even bought. A, uh, a grill for the shop. Oh, yeah. Did you do a, a test batch last weekend? I um, I did a, a, a pulled pork Ooh. on the Traeger. But that, uh, that come out? it was a, it was not quite done because I had it pulled off early because it was like already six o'clock and, oh, yeah. you know, time crunch and whatever. God, why am I sneezing? Sorry. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't understand this. Is it just me or am I not getting it? Josh. Mm. Car, not the three day. She wants he, he wants your wife to be showing off a car, not you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she doesn't like to be on camera, so I doubt that'll happen. Yeah. I, I still <laughs> like think it'd be that. fun to have Megan and, and Allison take over one of these streams one night, but that would be fun. Oh, uh, they would. I'm, that would be. Yeah, we should do that. We get him wine just, drunk and just. Here you go. Have, have yeah. the headphones. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, I, I'm down. If Megan would do that, that's funny. I think it would be hilarious. It would definitely be demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. Whatever. <laughs> it's, it'd be worth it. The subscriber count would be. Worth it. <laughs> so we had a um, an old friend of the channel pick up. Uh, he he owns he started a business like hauling trash and stuff, you know, like doing the trash pickups. And so he was like, "Hey, you know, like I saw your video, saw there's a heap of trash in there. Do you want to come get it?" And I said, "Yeah, hey, let's let's do it." Hmm. So he came out today and picked up the trash with you know he had a large trailer. Guess how many trailer loads of trash we had? <laughs> oh no! Because <laughs> I thought. Oh, they'll be able to get it in one trailer, no problem. Three, three, yeah, uh, yeah. Oops. What kind of gun safe will the office have? We're not supposed to disclose that. You're not supposed to know where it is. Yeah, a but, you should, one. but you should get a Fort Knox. Yeah, that's the best. No, oh, just straight up giving us bank. <laughs> yeah, shit. Thanks, Thanks Mousetrap. Big bucks for that. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, he wants the the Allison and and Megan show. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I hey, would your wife be in? I bet you fifty no. bucks if we did an Allison and Meg show. I can it guarantee you that in, it would pull in so much money. It would. <laughs> people be people be throwing them Benjis at them. <laughs> Do they ever talk or hang out or? Yeah. Here, yeah. there. Here, yeah. there. Occasionally. We don't actually hang out outside of what we're doing too much because well, I mean, we're you're seeing working. each other all day. Oh, yeah. all day. We're so damn busy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean. And that too. Why would you just hang out when there's work to do? <laughs> right. Exactly. Well, part I think part of the problem is like we're so exhausted after busting our ass all day. It's like I just want to go home and be with my yeah. wife and kid and like, uh, all right. Need to reload. Have Anyone fun. need a beer? Good luck. Yes. Beer? Uh, bring one. I do need to go refill my water. Really. Yeah, it's been, it's been, it's been rough. I We're bet. dealing with the dealing with all the EAG stuff too at the same time. I've kind of let Dan, there. Dan doing the building a little okay. more, and I've been doing everything else. I got the four five eight sold and delivered yet uh, day nice. before yesterday, um, so that's gone. Cool. I've got a 4:30 in my garage that I'm getting ready. I just got all the stickies done, and and I'm going to film a video on that. So, the same, the one you've had, right? The, the yeah. red one. Yep. Yeah. Nice. And I think we may have another spider coming in. I haven't actually asked you about that. 4:30. Oh, the four. Yeah, he never followed up. He said he was going to follow up in three days. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well. Yeah. You should follow Dang up him. with him. And then we might have. Actually, we might have something really cool coming in like two weeks or something. Tyler knows what it is. Yep. <laughs> I'm, yeah, the one I'm going out to go. Yeah. To Any teasers? Yeah. Well, I'm flying out to Orlando uh, next week, Thursday, a week from today. Okay. It's to go a, check out a car. It's a cool one, that's for wow. sure. It's been yeah, a while it's... since you've flown out to go see something. Yeah, jo Josh is like, I'll do it. I'll do it. So I'm like, fine, fine. I'm fine with that. Well, actually, I can't do it because uh, I'm actually flying to Seattle on the 5th and I'm going to be there for two weeks. Yep. So Dan had to Dan had to do that one. I actually like flying around and looking at cars. It's fun. Yep. Heck yeah. Especially when you're getting paid to do it. Well, you're paying yeah. yourself, but you're getting paid <laughs> yeah. to do well, it. Well, I mean, the last <laughs> one I did, they paid me to go and look at it. And so I went to Chicago for a day. Oh, yeah, that's right. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's well. The only thing is, like, it's it's super time consuming because it takes at least yeah. a day. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So like, I'm flying out at like six or seven in the morning, and I don't get home until like 
11 o'clock at night. Well, you got lucky and you got a flight. Same yeah, I actually, yeah, I can actually do a turn depending, and burn. Yeah. Depending on where you go, if you go to a, like a big city like Orlando, you can usually get a flight back the same day. Yeah. Um, and I, or they do direct flights to Orlando from here. So oh, that's cool. Yeah. 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 That was, that was a key part is direct flight and they had multiple flights per day. So mm-hmm. usually, and you know, like they had some in the morning and some in the evening, so you can actually do that. And, and you have to have a big enough gap to actually be able to, cause the dude lives an hour plus away. Oh, yeah. So basically it's like fly out, second I land, go grab the rental car, drive out there, go look at the car. I only have like one to two hours to go look at the car. Then wow. immediately turn around, come home or come back to the airport, get back on the flight. So I was like joking with Meg. I'm like, yeah, this is one of those cool flights where I don't even have to take like a toothbrush or anything. She's like, <laughs> she's like you probably need to bring some underwear. I'm like, I'm going to bring some extra clothes. Just in case. I'm like, but if, you know, if, if she hits the fan, I can get a toothbrush from the hotel. You know, yeah. if, if the flight gets canceled or I miss it or whatever. But yep. yeah, always, always, always bring extra underwear and socks. Yep. Key. Fair. Like anytime, anytime I'm packing for a vacation or flying or whatever. <laughs> Texas chic underwear. Yeah, Texas chic underwear. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, yeah. Yeah, there's there's that meme of like whenever you're traveling, you pack like you're going on a survival trip in the Arctic. Like <laughs> I need six pairs of underwear for two days. <laughs> it's good stuff. Ah, uh, the the four thirty seller doesn't want to go below what they originally said. No, oh. mm. wah wah. Uh, mm. We'll discuss after the show. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> I'm seeing some crazy. Four thirty prices online. Like, oh my god! Holy Crazy shit! Good or bad? Bad. They're high, super yeah. high. Super the only high. thing I'm, I'm wondering is like how many of them are actually selling at these prices? Yeah. So I mean, maybe they are, but and the three sixty, the three sixty market has gotten interesting too because there's a bunch of real cheap ones and then there's a bunch of very expensive ones. There's mm. nothing in between right now. It's really interesting. Weird. Yeah. Yeah, three sixties and four thirties have gone up a lot lately which is interesting because the four five eights have kind of been flat and then the 488s i think are starting to creep up a little Hmm. but f8s are still holding strong like they're still very expensive yes like basically all the f8 depreciation is just miles yeah like if you have a low mile car, they're they're MSRP or higher. If you have a high mile car, which high you know high mile F eight is probably like five thousand miles, right? Damn. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> oh, you talked to a guy about EAG conversions. Oh man, EAG stuff. Wow, that's. <laughs> That's been keeping us busy. Yeah. yeah. I with my note, like suddenly I just have the it. last two nights around this time, I've just been like hit with a wall of something. So I'm like right behind you. <laughs> just catching up on the customer support or what? I'm getting there. I think we've, we've probably reached out to almost every single one of the people that has a car or a kit. Um, Oh, I totally missed Cheryl's comment about the 14 599s. Yeah, that, that was a huge shock to us, too. We were like, yeah. 14? <laughs> like, holy crap. I remember we're like when they had like six, and we were like, oh, that's too many. Like, it's going to take a while. And then <laughs> 14. And that's how many are waiting. Wow. Yeah. They've, already, they've already put how many, I don't know, four or five already have gone out the door. Wow. Well, there's definitely demand. That's awesome to hear. Like, yeah, yeah. Hoobie didn't do too well at the auction. Oh, I didn't see. Oh, oh what happened on. with what happened with that? He got like I'd... thirty or forty over on the Z06. Uh, and that's, that's not good. Like one seven, one sixty five or one seventy, I think. Oh, yeah, oh like darn! That. He made thirty grand. Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, and then he, I think he lost a little bit on the Bronco, and I don't remember on the other two. I think he broke even or dang close on the other two. But. Suggestions: Supercar windows wide. Widows. Oh, widows! Jesus. Ooh. <laughs> what the heck? No money for the YouTube, just donations. What? Is he trying to get us killed? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> hmm. hmm. Monday super uh, mouse trap. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't see. Where was there a a Hoovy video on this or or just, yeah, a couple days okay. ago. Yeah. Okay, I just haven't had time to do anything other than sweat. Mm. Yeah, right. <laughs> Sleep, I, drink water, sweat, sleep. I know dude. it is unfortunate that you're doing it now in the heat of the summer. Right. But I think I drank over two gallons yesterday while working on the building and I only peed once. Yeah. <laughs> and I was working on the building for thirteen hours. Sounds about right. And I skipped lunch. So I worked well, on it yeah, from I skipped lunch yesterday and today. I skipped lunch today. I skipped lunch every single day this week, actually, except for we had a Correction, we had appetizers at like 5.30 yesterday, was it, or whatever? Yeah. What's an appetizer? Miller Lite? Actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It was. <laughs> and well, fried pickles. And fried okay, pickles. We were, we were just about to wrap up the day, and all of a sudden we got a, call, we got a call from UPS that they were going to deliver some stuff that mm. we had to you know, be there for which we actually didn't have to be there. But uh, they were like, oh, it's going to be 45 minutes. And I was like, God dang it. I'm like, I don't want to hang out for 45 minutes. And we're like, let's go get a beer. Yeah. We do nice. have one 430 right now. It's a coupe with 12,000 miles on it. That's pretty well loaded. It's a red tan car. It's pretty nice. Carbon steering wheel. Yeah. Challenge wheels. I like that car. Yeah. yeah. Oh, did nice you one. did you adjust the PIS? I haven't yet. No. I'll okay. probably do it tomorrow. Okay. Film it when you do. I'm gonna I'm gonna film everything on it. I just haven't had a chance because <laughs> I know. Oh, I know. It's been it's been a crazy. I've been, it's been bothering me because it's sitting there, and I was gonna do it yesterday, but I got home. I got home at like six or whatever, and I was so tired. I was just like, uh, <laughs> I can't do it. Yeah. Are those yeah. challenge wheels the the same as the challenge uh, the 360 challenge wheels? No. The no. 430 wheels are eight or uh, 19s and the 360 are 18s, but a lot of guys put the 19s on the 360. I think that's what looks best. Yeah. In my really? Opinion. Yeah. Do we know how much we're selling the 434? Um, I thought it was like. One, I think we talked about 135. I think that's it's what one, it's on the site. I think. Yeah. Last time I checked. Mm-hmm. It's only a 12,000 mile car. It, it's yeah. really nice. It's very. It's a very good condition. The paint's really good condition. Yeah. The only thing the only thing that I don't like about it is the um it's got a PPF on the front, but it's only the half. Oh, it only yeah. covers half the hood. The Not a huge deal, but I hate keeps that. it not keeps it nice in the front, but still it's like I'd rather have the whole thing PPF. Yeah. And this that was back when PPFs were so expensive. It was like, oh yeah. my yeah. god, just do half of it. Yeah. Now it's like just do it proper, please. Yeah. Just do it right once. Be done. Mm-hmm. The new the new PPF stuff is so much better than five yeah. ten years ago. Yeah. Uh, it's one hundred eighty well, Canadian. Yeah, I mean, Hugh, you said you found one for like one ten Canadian last week. You should have bought it. What one ten? Is that like eighty grand here, dude? Something like that. There's no, they're not that cheap up there. Yeah, there's no way. I don't remember oh. what the exact number was, but it was cheap. What? Did we we didn't get the BMW listed yet? Um, I still have to send them a few things. It's it's oh, okay. all it's approved and everything, and it's going to go through. So probably in the next couple of days. Okay, I'll send them their I'll send them their stuff tonight. Because there was a couple of people that like solicited us about that car, and I just yeah I they wanted them. a picture of the title. I had to go to our bank today and get a picture of that. So ah. Uh, uh. We need to just like take a picture of the title as soon as we get it. Yeah. Because at some point we're gonna need a picture of the title. Can uh, we buy them up there and import them down here? If they're only eighty grand up 80 there. Eighty grand, yeah. I'll buy them. Dude. You can't even buy a three sixty for eighty grand. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. 
You can fit bigger wheels in the five and nine. It's a bigger car. And it looks it looks good on it. <clears throat> yes, more beer. Sorry, I'm just a little bit out of it. Like that I was saying I did I even mention that? Like so yeah, yesterday I got up at like four something, today I got up at five something. Yeah. I'm tired. What's funny is as the day got went on. Dan and I were like, hey, where's this tool? Hey, where's this tool? And we would both be looking all over the place for it. And then it would just be sitting right on the desk. Right in front of you. <laughs> right that's in front of you us. Know. That yeah. happened so many times. <laughs> yeah, that's when you're like, okay, my brain is clearly not working right. Oh, man. Yeah. It's one too many shocks. <laughs> yeah, it's there's there is some moments where when it's a hundred and like yeah when it's 100 whatever degrees in that building and you're just sweating profusely trying to do stuff and you're 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 working at like a snail's pace because he, anything yeah, yeah. more than that is just like uh uh-uh. <laughs> it's just heat uh-uh. stroke yeah seriously you have to pace yourself but i don't know like i was prior to the, the start of the live i was saying i don't know what's worse because starting working that early from like 7 a.m until probably 8 30 or 9 a.m the humidity is like a hundred percent in in this time of year and it's almost worse than when it's like a hundred and whatever degrees out because yeah. you just sweat so hard like profusely sweating and at least when it's hotter in the day it burns off the humidity but like, I was just drenched this morning. It was gross. <laughs> That's when you packed two or three shirts for work that day. <laughs> ah, no, nah, screw it, man. I'm just whatever. Just, just sweat through. <laughs> yeah. I know it's hot because the little stream on the property is no longer flowing. Mm. It is, if, but very, very, very slow. Well, but it's getting scum on the surface now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm like half wondering if we should like clear it off somehow. I think that might actually keep the mosquitoes out. The surface scum? Maybe. I don't know. Ugh. I mean, the problem is when it's flowing, the mosquitoes don't, they like, you know, get washed yeah, the eggs down. eggs float down, yeah. yeah. So it's could, not a problem. Could you spray this gun yeah. for mosquitoes? Maybe. They both equally suck. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not that great. I'm so curious to <laughs> try an F1. I mean, I'm glad I didn't have well, to. Gabe, you're you're yeah. gonna hate it. Yeah, no, I don't. Oh, I, I just you not I, driven an F1. A gated car. Oh, I've driven man. a 430 F1, but not a yeah 360. Oh, I know I yeah. wouldn't like it, but I, no. I'm just curious how bad is it. It's bad. I mean, I had a lot of <laughs> I had a lot of fun in my car. I didn't. I mean, it's a fun car. It's fun, but it's like. Oh, yeah, yours was F1, Josh, right? The yellow one? Yeah. You still had fun in it. You still loved yeah. it. That's your favorite oh, car, yeah. right? I, yeah, I still loved it. I have no problem with it. It's just yeah. if you if you don't have high expectations, right? it's fine. Yeah. I think that's the, that's the key. You have to be moving up in the supercar world. You can't be, like, moving down yeah. to an F1. An well, F1, no, I don't know about that. It's, it's when you – it's weird. And, and I'm kind of being a bit of a douche because it's like I've driven so many cars now that sometimes driving the older cars with the shittier technology is kind of fun because I actually like, enjoy it better. Yeah. It's like for <laughs> its time, this was really right. amazing. Yeah. It's so like, I mean, the 360 F1 is not good, but it's nowhere near as bad as the 355 F1. Right. That's fair. Yeah. I mean, that is just <laughs> wow is bad yeah if you run the 360 in sport mode and you learn how to drive it and and play with the throttle when you're shifting it's not that bad Hmm. Hmm. by the way i haven't removed it from sport mode i don't intend to but Mm. no reason i don't know what that would do with the i don't know on 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 your i know it does something with the suspension or it's supposed to Hmm. what are the options on your manatino 
There's no Mancino on a 360. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's one downside, and the gauge is a little less less dramatic than the 430. I didn't realize the 360 didn't have that because the 430. 430 started right. that. Well, it just has a button that says sport. Ah, okay. <laughs> on the left. On so the... that's that's the race mode for the 360. I just leave yeah. that sucker on. Okay. You yeah. Don't touch well, it. Smart. Yeah. Yeah. The, the 355 manual is fun, but again, you got to set your expectations right. It's right. not that fast. Yeah. The yep. problem with the 355 is it takes forever to accelerate. It feels like. Well, it, it's totally gutless until like 4,000. Yeah. 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 It just takes forever, and then once it gets going, it sound opens up and it accelerates yeah. quick. But it I drove the, forever to get the there. three five five and the three sixty the same day. In manuals. The first time I had driven any gated Ferraris, and there was a night and day. The three five five was yeah. fun. There was a night and day difference between the three five five and the three sixty yeah. in terms of power and and torque, low end torque. This the you you got to consider the three five five and the three sixty are effectively the same engine. The difference is that the three sixty has variable valve timing. Mm. And so that makes it where it can have a much more, much more torque at low end, right? Yeah. So it's, but then the 430, uh, so the 360 only has variable intake or no, is it very, yeah, variable intake timing. Yeah. And then the 430 has variable intake and exhaust timing. Hmm. But it's also, the 430 is a completely different engine. Mm -hmm. So the engine block in the 430 is what the same engine block that's in the 458. But then the 458 got a different ignition system, different heads, different all sorts of shit. Much more compression, direct injection. So, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And then the timing chain. Yep. So it's the, what is it, the F137 or F136 block? F136 block. That's what it's called. Mm -hmm. it's actually used in like they made more of them for maseratis basically <laughs> than ferraris <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's funny yeah i mean to cheryl's comment like the last time steve was here it was not his first time in the mclaren but after driving his car before he got it converted uh we were out and i don't know just accelerating and he's like yeah like you shifted through three gears and it felt like a single pole Whereas in, you know, an F1 car, you, you, you feel jerk it. back and forth. And mm -hmm. so, yeah, like Which the DCT is DCTs being so smooth. Yeah. Is, I mean, they're, they're, the it's thing different. Is, it's you, all different. You've got to appreciate each car for its different whatever. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing is like people, if, if performance is all that matters, then anything that's not the current model mm -hmm. sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Like every generation just annihilates the previous generation. Right. You know, and and so like, but if you get beyond that and you just want something that you can appreciate when you drive, then all of that is it's relative. Like it's it's like, oh, the F1. Yeah, it's it's crap compared to a DCT, but it's amazing in its own respect. And it's fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, I mean, flat out, I think in some ways I have more fun driving the scud than a four or five eight wow yeah I, I need to drive a scud you need you guys need to get one the scud, I've been the looking scud is badass I, it's i <laughs> man wants a scud yeah. <laughs> the, the problem is if we found the right scud i think i would keep it yeah that's, I mean, that's fair depending like if it's if it's like six months from now and all of our project cars are gone and i actually <laughs> have money again there's a real possibility i would just buy a scud and just keep it that would be badass that would yeah be badass. it's like dude make it scream like a mother like kill the exhaust on it and just because with no sound deadening in that thing oh, i mean <laughs> yeah greg's is obnoxious yeah everywhere it's you wonderful go, but every time you pull up anywhere you'd be like yeah what, what? what? i would I have got, a really, in my ear i can't hear i would you. have a really hard time deciding between that or a four five eight i would really oh. struggle i would take me at mm. least a couple of weeks to decide on that <laughs> i mean I, right. I've, I've owned the 458 for three years and it's it's amazing but i i, I feel like i would change it up like i want to try <laughs> something different i want to mm -hmm. the seats in the scud are great oh yeah 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 it'd be hard i mean that scud thud man when it shifts yeah it's just oh. yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're like holy shit did that 
just happened. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, wow, that that was the hardest, fastest shift like you can imagine. Because it's it's almost as fast as a DCT, but with all of the oomph of an F1. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, like with a DCT, like you, the newer cars, that's just you don't even feel them shifting. It's just mm-hmm. ding, ding, ding. All right. Yeah. With the scud, it does it just as fast, except that you yep. feel it. It yeah, feels like yeah. someone's can... punching you in the back. Yeah, except for the yep. whole car goes boom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like what what more could you ask for really from a car? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if a scud, a gated scud. I I mean that'd be tough. <laughs> that'd be tough. <laughs> the problem with the gated scud is like like okay yeah it's 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 amazing because the transmission is butter. I mean the the SF2 transmission when converted to a manual is like okay this is the best transmission ever made for manuals period yeah like yeah. it literally is but at the same time I feel like it's almost sacrilegious to that car because it's so good as it is yep is that salvage John there's no way it must oh, 40, 40, miles, miles, maybe. Well, that's about right yeah all the way down to 215 though Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. We actually it might be one of the ones I've been trying to buy. <laughs> nice. Do it's like it, whatever. Do it. Well, I can't right now. I got I got project cars up the ass. I need to get rid of some of them. <laughs> All in due time. Yep. Yeah. We're um, each gonna have Ferraris again someday. Oh yeah. Well, oh, obviously. Yeah. That's not even a question. <laughs> I was thinking about that. I'm like, you know, I'm I'm really missing owning a, a car. Me too. Yeah. Really bad. <laughs> yeah. Like I enjoy the dealership, but like working on dealership cars is different. Like it just doesn't feel right. Like you don't want to, you don't want to do certain things with them and, and you shouldn't because it doesn't well, make I wanna do, sense. You know, yeah. my own yeah. car, I want to do my own thing. I want to put my own, whatever wheels I want on it. I want to wire yeah. my radar detector and my cameras and do all that stuff. Well, none of these cars we can do that with. Yep. And yeah, there's, no, there's no return. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know. You go to a cars and coffee in a car that you're trying to sell. I don't know. It just doesn't feel the same. Well, yeah. even even just putting miles on the car that yeah. you're trying to sell you feel bad. Yeah. It's like, ah, uh, should I do this? I don't know. Like, uh... <laughs> mm-hmm. No, I, I feel you. Like, it's been fun fixing the stupid little bullshit on the 650 that was broke throughout the last year. Like, yeah. I wouldn't have done that if I were. It makes it feel like it's yours. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, for me, over the years, too, I've always bought cars that needed a few things to fix. And then when I get done and have the car fixed, I get bored with it immediately mm. and move on to the next one. So yeah. and we're not in the business to buy project cars and do that. No. no. <laughs> we need to buy cars that need nothing or very little. Yeah, yeah for, for making money, you need, you need to do as little as possible to the car. Yeah. Which is, yeah, yeah, it's tough. <laughs> I'm bummed. the The FCA chapter yeah. here seems to be inactive. I don't know uh, how to really. How to, I mean, I've looked at their Facebook page and, and what they're like. The last post is from 2016. Oh wow! So oh wow! They're I need close. some some driving buddies out here. Try try and reach out to some of the other chapters that are like maybe in nearby cities. Yeah, I guess maybe like. Oh, I don't know. Tri-state? That's that's like New York, Connecticut, New Jersey. Is there one in Boston? Well, I mean, FCA New England would be. Oh, okay. I think it's the New England chapter. So Is that's that five what you're in? Yeah. yeah. And the, wow. There's they're nothing? Not, wow. I mean, I at least from what I can tell, I don't have the insider uh, scoop here, but I need to I need to figure it out. Hmm. Actually, uh, yeah, I, I do hear from the guy who bought my forfeit every once in a while. He even, he even sends me pictures every once in a while. <laughs> let me, let me know. He's still enjoying it, which is, I mean, it's, it makes me, it makes me happy. It makes me happy that it went to someone who's truly enjoying the car, driving it, having fun with it. That just, you couldn't ask for more, right? Like yep. it just, it's like, ah, oh, good. I'm glad to see it still having, you know, having fun, you know, running around. It's awesome. That's cool. Fred's here. Holy shit. Oh, Fred. 
the Ferrari Club in California is probably bumping. I was saying, dude, think. they host some big events. <laughs> if, you're, if you're lonely, that's that's by your choice. Fred, Fred, <laughs> ship your car here. There, yeah, there you go. I'll put you up for a week and uh, we'll drive it to Austin, the and you can ship it up to Gabe after. Yeah. Oh, dude! Once we get the shop done, you can ship your car here, and we can store it for you because we're definitely gonna have space for a yeah. while. Fred, Fred. He said he wants us to sell his. Um, Four five eight form and it needs some stuff, so we could probably have it brought out and work on it a nice. little here and there. Yep. Nice. Yep. Oh man, I still haven't even or we still have to do lifts. Yeah. Jeez. Fred yeah, has get that news. Oh. In, right? Fred has news. What's the news? Well, I ran I ran um I ran a thirty amp circuit for the lifts. Okay. I just, it's just kind of dangling there because I'm like, mm. did you do a yeah. test drill into the concrete? I did. Yep. It's more than, uh, more than five inches. It's like, I, it's over nice. six inches. I, Shit. I didn't get to dirt. All right. That's I awesome. bottomed, I bottomed out my drill bit and didn't get to dirt. So I'm like, okay, great. Good enough. <laughs> Maybe coming there soon. Nice. It's we were time. all talking about like coming here for the 4th of July and blowing shit up. <laughs> Yeah, Fourth of July is next week. That's soon, Fred. How soon? Is soon, <laughs> dude. I got a text today from uh, the city that I'm in saying, Uh-oh. "Reminder: We are currently under a firework prohibition." And I'm like, "Oh, really?" <laughs> Which technically doesn't apply to me because, just like Liberty Hill Shop, I'm in an ETJ. Yeah, extraterrestrial jurisdiction. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Right. Nice. I am technically not in the city. <laughs> yeah, so congrats, Fred. You can't enforce that shit on me. So eat a dick. We're blowing shit up. It it blows me away that like where I grew up in Colorado, when fireworks were illegal, they didn't sell that type of firework. Yep. Here it's like, yeah, don't don't use these guys. They're illegal, but every shop's got them. Well, no, <laughs> it's not that they're illegal. It's you can't use them in the city. Well, get, yeah, and it's a city ordinance, them. right? I love it because they can't sell them in the city, so they're right at the Yep. city limits right so that's yeah. if you ever need to know where your city limits are in the austin area just go find the fireworks shops because okay they're not in, they're not in austin yep well they'll pick the little bits that aren't annexed that are right next to a road too so they'll be like that yeah one yeah, mile that, bit that, one that isn't annexed into a city and <laughs> they're there yep, yep i love it the the lifts are gonna go so like the building's kind of three sections right so looking at the building you've got the right side the center and the left the right side is going to be like the working shop so that's where the lifts are going to be that's where you know workbench tools whatever putting cars up changing oil all that crap the center section is going to be like the showroom where we're going to have cars that are all detailed and looking pretty in pictures and whatever and then the left side is a combination of storage for cars and uh, a wash bay and a detailing bay. So highly functional, still got some cool stuff. You know, Dan, what do you, I thought about this earlier. What do you think about like putting a couch out in the showroom, like in front of the office and a coffee table and maybe some I chairs like or something? I'm telling you, I want to buy that damn table that you, oh. everyone, bitch, if you want to buy that, show us the you, table. That's yeah, all show, you. Show us the table. <laughs> It's cool, I but love Dan's obsessions with these. What's rings. in the box? <laughs> it's extraordinarily expensive for a table. Oh no! Give us like, the uh, material and the dimensions, and we'll yeah. guess the price. Aluminum. How Texas chic is it? <laughs> <laughs> it? The material is aluminum and glass. Mm. All right. I think you can figure out what it is. Yep. It's got eight <laughs> eight holes in it. About yay big. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I've been, yeah, I should totally, well, actually, funny enough, I do have two Ford engine blocks sitting there. No, fuck no, we're not doing it in Ford engine. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, they're overhead cam. Most people wouldn't know. (laughs) Like, oh, yeah. Um, What about doing one out of a transmission? Ooh. That's too low. What, oh, I could, what if I welded some legs on the bottom of it? Some metal legs or something. The transmission gotta... still looks sexy. 
They're kind of cool. It'd be different yeah. though. Yeah. I wonder everyone, that. everyone has an engine block table. You do it where the bell housing is. No one, up. Has, a, no one has a Ferrari engine block table. I know. Because they cost too much. They're usually. The 10 like, table. There you go. Nice. Although Mercedes? Mercedes V10? A VW Mercedes, engine? The Mercedes make a V10? I swear, yeah. I should, if they did, I should know this. I'm the, I, I cannot recall. I'm going to ask Chat GPT. <laughs> Love it. Oh, it'd be cool. 12, right? dude. Actually, okay. Oh, yeah. Have a full engine, transmission, shifter, everything with like a little seat that you could sit in and sit there and shift gears. I mean, the only V10 cool. they made was a Formula One car. At that point, just according, get a simulator. According to Chat GPT. Okay. So if he's doing an F1 engine, that would be badass. Dude, yeah. yeah. I mean, all right. You just kind of won that that debate. Yep. <laughs> Use a McLaren one. They throw a rod. <laughs> <Right. back>. Yeah. <laughs> Call up Freddy. See if he'll give you his block. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. V12, he said. Yeah, okay. V12, okay. That's cool. Okay. Yeah. That's a big yeah. engine block. That's a big table. It's a hell of a table. <laughs> your dining room table is the V12. Your coffee table is the four cylinder. <laughs> yeah. That'd be awesome. Whatever yeah, I, you're Googling things you don't know. Well, why would you Google it now when you have to sift through the results when you can just get an instant answer? So the, the only concern I would have about putting a couch out in the showroom is just that the couch might get in the way when you're moving around. Right. Mm. Yeah. Really? We'll have to. Um, so I did I, before I left today. I was curious, and so I measured the car, the Mustang that's in there. Yeah, and kind of, I think we can fit sixteen cars inside. Wow, wow, if with the lifts, a, with the lifts, yeah. With with room and to drive through, or do you have to pull with, something out? Uh, we'd have you have to pull something out. Okay, um, but there's going to be three doors, so three spots to pull a car out. So wow. Yeah, I mean, in a pinch, if there was like a hailstorm coming or something, and we had to park a bunch of stuff inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could nice. do it. Damn, and, we and you have the overhang fit, fit on that. Eight cars, eight to ten cars, very comfortably in there. Cool, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's so my thinking was, yeah, we do a couch and stuff, and then we have a few cars parked in front of it, kind of make it like I don't know. We'll see. It's pretty exciting watching it come all together, though. I know, dude. When I'm <laughs> when they when so like uh, yesterday they pulled down the sidewalls, and so now you can see from end to end. And it, it's funny because all of a sudden, like it started echoing, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was so much larger, and it was like, holy crap! And now it like this was actually another funny, strange epiphany was when they boxed in the building and right now we only have the one door to go around to the back of the building. It takes like a minute. Like uh, literally yeah. to walk around the entire damn building takes a while. You're like, ah, oh, shit, I got to walk around the whole building. It takes a minute. I love it. <laughs> Tyler, have you been out there yet? No, I need to. Oh, come out there. I wish you would have seen it before we started. Because... Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the, you guys did a good job in the videos depicting. Yeah, you do. The, the mess it was like, especially that area where they were on the side with the um, oh sloped, God. the sloped exterior, whatever that yeah. was, like where the water jugs were. It's a total mess. I like yeah. this guy's idea right here, a disco ball. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think that was a response to Hugh saying the the stage and the stripper pole too. But oh, oh. well, uh, <laughs> you know. If you're selling you, premium uh, cars, you gotta have uh, the premium. Well, then we need a then we need oh, a craps yeah. table and a blackjack table too. Oh yeah, that that's in the loft. <laughs> oh, <laughs> quick quick note about premium. Oh no! One one of our viewers, uh, their wife bought them a premium shirt. Yes, and they had no idea what it was about. Yes, so he sends me a message and he's like, "Hey, I just got this premium shirt from your you know from your site." Blah blah. blah. <laughs> And he's like, hey, if it's not too much trouble, what does it mean? Oh, no. <laughs> so I had to explain it to him. And he's like, that makes the shirt 
so much better. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm like, good. Yes. Good. I'm glad you like the shirt. Think, I think most people are thinking it's just a just a play on the word making yeah. fun of the Supreme brand. I think yeah. that's what everybody's going to think. Should we explain it? Or not. No, no. You got to buy a shirt if you want the explanation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll say this. There's a premium sticker hidden in somewhere in California and somewhere in Colorado. If someone wearing a premium shirt takes a picture with one of those premium stickers that I've put out, I'll send you some free swag from Dan's shop. $25 or less. <laughs> yeah, thanks for spending my money. <laughs> yeah. But that would be pretty funny, actually. I'll pay for it. I don't want to... The, yeah. even, even the if you chances don't have of the... that happening are so small, Tyler. I know, yeah. You, you need to up it to like 100 bucks or something. All right, okay, yeah, fair. 100 bucks. <laughs> if you're wearing a premium shirt and you find one of the two stickers that we've put in California, I'll say it's on somewhere off Highway 1, and the one in Colorado is somewhere up high. Yeah, I know where that one is. <laughs> yeah, if you find either of those and take a picture with it, I'll no. send you a $100 gift card to Dan's store. My right, my wife is requesting names in the corner of each of your windows. At least she has Mo down. Oh, it's not showing her. Yeah, name. what happened? We used to show those. Oh uh, yeah. Oh That's weird. Yeah, it did yeah. used to show those. I didn't even notice. Is that a setting? Uh, you haven't oh, given me a research access yet, but it is there somewhere. Ah! There it is. Hey. There you go. There you go. Ha ha. I I'm I'm somehow must have hit the setting button. Ask and you shall receive. I like it. Well, actually, your wife asked and, and she mm -hmm. shall receive. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. Oh, this might be a good idea for a shirt, too. I have yeah, a cool design for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit old. <laughs> I could just say, like, cancerous. <laughs> God. Well, Back wouldn't let it be more of a general their aviation shirt at this point they still use leaded you can, gas you can still get leaded gas and just can't you drive on the highways with it yeah when, when i had my old muscle cars back in michigan they still would sell leaded gas but it was oh, for wow. non-highway use okay so there was only like you know a few gas stations that would actually sell it but we knew where all those were because they would have super high octane yeah well, it's airplane fuel, right? Basically, yeah, they have today. like 105 octane. So yeah. I was looking through the 360 manual, and it, it, I think it called for 95 octane. Wrong. Is that? Oh, wrong. wrong. No, yeah. It, yeah. Well, what's it's, what's the deal with that? It's a different formula for computing the hmm. the uh, octane. Yeah, Ron it's is they, European, right? Yeah. Okay. Or, yeah. So what would that translate to? It's like it's 92. I think 92. that's 91. Yeah, 91. 91 is 95. I think yeah, 91. Well, I've been putting in 85. Oh, yeah. What? I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> no. Yeah, God. <laughs> I was like, look, oh. hey, it's an older car. The computer my heart, my heart just beat, <laughs> <Gabe. laughs> uh, 93. It will run really high powered for about three minutes. Right. <laughs> It'll start banging and clanging. Yeah. Well, until it pulls the timing. Yeah. That was one thing that's very interesting was going. So the experience of driving my 458 from Texas to Colorado, not only are you experiencing the higher altitude, but also the lower octane. Yep. And so you could feel the engine pulling timing because it just was like, what are you doing to me, bro? It's like, dude, this is, this is not what I was meant for. So, yeah. Yep. Not okay. Yeah, the Ron 95 is 91 to 93, according to chat GPT. Okay. Okay. It's okay. funny, at the at the uh, racetrack, they sell up to, I think, 112 octane. Wow. And it's it's wow. like 16 bucks a gallon. Ooh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I kind of want to put that in the 360. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't think it would do, do that. anything. It won't. Yeah. It wouldn't it won't really diminish matter. returns. Yep. Well, back yep. to the premium talk. I don't know if I've shared this on the live yet, but I did get a custom plate finally. Nice. Oh, really? <laughs> you That's did. your actual plate? Yep. Nice. <laughs> I love it. I love the black one, too. You have the yeah. black status. Wait, you didn't get the, the uh, carbon fiber? No. Well, they have an oil and gas plate, so it's premium oil and gas, so it's a double <laughs> joke. <laughs> all right. All right. Yeah. That, that's acceptable. Oh, yeah, Tyler. I had to do that. So. <laughs> was, that's good. 
Nice. But yeah, rocking the premium. It's funny shit. It makes me laugh every day. Oh, something else that happened this week that I was dealing with. I can't really say anything about it. Um, I will be able to in the future. I'll, maybe we'll do a video about it. But I got a call from the DEA. This oh, week. shit. Yes. <laughs> yes. I was like, where are you going with this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, that thing. Oh, no. I'm so glad that you answered that call and not me, by the way. <laughs> Because I, I would have probably been like, who's fucking with us? Like, and I would have been like, no, this is bullshit. No, and the way the dude talked to me, I was like, he's he's legit. <laughs> yeah. Nice. That, yeah. All right. All right. We got good stuff for the after show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. John, buy a shirt and Dan will tell you what it means. Yeah. 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 We've talked about it on this show. It was a while ago. By the way, speaking of shows, the the puppet the puppet show has been canceled. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Is is there a, we'll put the a Texas lawyer involved? We'll tell no. you guys after. No, even more. I'm the very episode. sad about this. Oh, it made, it made me very sad. Oh, damn it! We we'll have to figure out. We need to we need to utilize it because I already bought the damn puppets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People are confused. <laughs> this should be. It's good. It should be. The payoff will be excellent. Just one of those silly ideas. <laughs> yep. Oh, it's no, it's a brilliant idea. <laughs> it was absolutely brilliant. It was Meg's idea, so you know it was brilliant. Uh, Allison sent me a text. And she said, I'll do a video or take over a live or join one. I'll do it. Oh, shit. All right. Oh, <laughs> shit. So you got to get Meg on board. All right, I'll text her. I'll see if she will. Nice. I'll send her a text right now. That'd be amazing. <laughs> I can't wait to see the response on that one. Yep. <laughs> Nobody's going to want to hear what they have to talk about. No. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be, dude, it's going to be nothing about cars except for bitching about cars. And then, <laughs> what do you think we do? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's kind of true. 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 Every, everyone hangs out for that shit. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, good stuff. Do you, do you know how many, what the um, ratio is of viewers to people who comment? Like, how many of the viewers actively comment? Um, regular regular videos or no on on the lives i'm curious because mm. we have a lot of the same commenters but I'm, i wonder if there are people uh, who never comment i bet you it's a third of them are commenting <clears throat> like i, I feel like lower, i think it's lower than that you does it tell so? you are you able to see yeah because no. we have 86 people watching right now and there's probably only 10 people commenting no i bet you there's 20 it's just some people so? only comment like once or yeah. twice during the entire live stream mm-hmm and then there's there's obviously like there's like 10 to 15 very active commenters which are very helpful all right if you've never commented throw in a comment lincoln's one yeah i want to see some new names i want to see some new names yeah yeah that's that's those new names names, those silent people but i I, yeah hit the like button well thank actually thank you yeah that does help oh that's true it's always a good reminder it is a good reminder yes yeah there's only 32 likes what the hell that's bullshit Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, look at that's that's hey. new. Local, yeah. Oh, you're local. Yeah. There yeah. you go. See, I've actually seen BTC Moon guy. Yeah, before. he's been on. Yeah. <laughs> to the floor is right. new. To the floor, I haven't seen Tony Bosworth. I've seen the name. Jim. I feel like we've seen Jim before, right? Yeah. It's it's funny because you recognize a lot of the names. Yeah. If you if you do enough, put in subscriber mode know? only. Yeah. What is that? They have to subscribe to watch it or to comment, right? Yeah, huh. that was one thing we could do is we could always we should probably like reward the people who actually have um, our members of the channel or whatever it's called. We can do live streams for just them. Oh, that'd be fun. It'd be a very small crowd. <laughs> yeah, well, but they would be engaged. That's for damn sure. True. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Clarence, true. where's the middle of nowhere? Yeah, yeah there's sure lots of middle nowheres. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, lots of... Okay, look at... Yeah, lots Remy, of that's a new one. Yeah. Okay. yeah, NPC in real life. Frozen Car Guy. I haven't seen that one. Frank Shaw. I feel like I know that name. 
definitely seen Remy. Clarence Gallagher, definitely seen that. I've seen that. Toraki, I think that's new. I've never seen that one. Toraki. Some people He's commented. He commented earlier, but I haven't seen that. Oh. Today. Beaver Lake, Nebraska. That's that's, that's in the, the middle of nowhere. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yep. That's you ain't you ain't lying. <laughs> Nebraska. Oh, okay. Wait, you didn't have internet there? <laughs> <laughs> Is that Western Start Nebraska? Like they, do they have running water there? Oddly enough, River it's Gold, it's California. better than Pedro's internet. So, <laughs> no right. Where's Liver? Where's Liver Gulch? R.I.P. Pedro. California. Liver <laughs> Gulch, California. Oh, Beaver Lake's near Omaha. That's not the middle of nowhere. Oh, I what? take it back. Oh, it's, it's near Omaha. Omaha. <laughs> it's like an hour south. It looks like. Oh well, that's that's kind of. If you're an hour outside of any, if you have to drive an hour to get to a main city, you're in the middle of nowhere. Ah, uh, I don't know. I think I'm addicted to Arkansas. I'm an hour to Austin. <laughs> That's acceptable. Those are good. Dude, they are. They I are actually, good. It, what is it about Arkansas? I've never it, watched one. I guess no. I need to. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's always a lot of action out there. Thing. No, it's always some methed out redneck yep. running from the cops, usually in like either a pickup truck or a Mustang. And then yep. like yep. they're on yep. like two lane roads. So it's like, ah, like, God, just scaring the shit. And you're like, oh my God. By the way. Tyler and I talked about this the other day, but if you if you all haven't seen Jury Duty, on oh my Amazon, god, yeah, you need to watch it. Yeah, you really need to watch it. What's, yeah. it. what's it about? <laughs> Dude, it's hilarious. It, it's the, a mockumentary where yeah, really. only one dude is a real person, and everyone else is an actor. And it's about and they go through a whole trial, and they yeah. kind of make fun of serving the jury U.S. Duty. judiciary system. And it's oh really, yeah, dude, it, it's, it's like, super high level. It's super smart, and <laughs> the shit they throw at this dude, and he doesn't break. <laughs> like, oh my god, it's so good. It's on Amazon. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Don't start watching it unless you want to, like, <laughs> not yeah. be able to stop. Interesting yeah, question. I did it in two days. So, do you think the second gen RA and Huracan will start to creep up in value, or at least stop mm. depreciating in the next few years? It seems like it should, but it hasn't. The R eights have gotten really cheap. Um, the Huracans definitely are still going down. So, if the thing, is, being... the thing is, is the cars are still too new to have had issues surface like transmission and engine problems. Um, and they may, and if that does happen, that'll bring the prices down. If the maintenance and reliability stays good, they they could potentially the we, go. The up. weird thing is, for some reason, just the kind of run of the mill, <laughs> run of the mill Lamborghinis just don't hold value as well as Ferraris do. It, even the special, like you know, what, you know, it's a still to this day. I'm like one of the best deals out there. Is a super legera Gallardo. Yeah. $140,000 for one of those. <laughs> yep. Steve's lucky. Yeah. Like, it makes no sense. That car is a $200,000 plus thousand dollar car, in my opinion, all day long. Oh, yeah. It drives like one. It, it's a, it's it's a, so it's a machine. It's a monster. Yeah. It is so fun. Like, bang for the buck. That is an amazing car. Oh, and Brent, they, you're a local. You're a regular. What? I'm just Brent said oh. he's here seldom. Like oh. you're a regular, Brent. Oh yeah, we know we know you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I just with how few they made of those cars, I can't believe they aren't worth more. I don't get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's actually another. Speaking of cars that I would definitely consider buying and just kind of playing with for a little while. I, but if I was going to do it, I wouldn't do the Super G. I would go for the Squadra Corsa. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. I totally agree with that. Or the Performante. They did a Performante Gallardo. Did they? The Perform yeah, they yeah. did. They only made a couple of those. Oh, yeah. They're or, badass. Um, uh, what is it? The um, Shit, I forgot what it's called now. The race car that was street legal. Whatever. Anyway. But yeah. Hmm. The Squadra Corsa would be bad as hell. Oh, you're in Westlake. Okay. Yeah. Welcome. That's close enough. Wait, what? 
if you get the wagon wheels turning fast yeah. enough, the cow's flashlight enough to capture the gas and compress it into our fuel mod. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's Nebraska for you. All right. <laughs> yeah. I, I can can confirm. Half ties to Nebraska, so can confirm. What's the four five eight on cars and bids? Is it like a crazy spec or something? Oh, the uh, speciality probably. <laughs> oh, oh, is it the uh, yeah. the Aperta? Yes. This, that. Oh um, yeah, oh, I want <laughs> that. Every once in a while, like two, maybe three times a year, you'll see one come up for sale. We had a chance to buy one. Josh was like, me, me, me. and I'm like, yes. And I'm glad no, I listened to Josh. That, to be fair. That one had some sketchy history or something, or paintwork or some weird mm. thing. No, I think it was it. like a Canada car or something like that. Uh, oh. Something was weird about it. Yeah, the Aperta is the car you're talking about. Yeah, yeah I, I saw that. That's badass. Yeah. Oh, is there a special Aperta in it? Y- yeah. <clears throat> on cars and bids? Yep. Yeah. Really? That could be the highest price yeah. car that they ever sell. Could be. No, because didn't yeah. they sell a Mercy that was like six something? You only got seven something, right? This That's car will right. probably be this car will probably be eight or nine hundred grand. How many miles around? Oh, really? Five five thousand. Oh yeah, that's like an yeah. eight hundred thousand dollar car. Yeah, oh, interesting. Especially if it's got a good spec. Tactical Ooh. fleet. Tactical fleet the is spec. the seller. <sighs> they're they're oh, a weird, they're, yeah. weird company. They're semi local, yeah, right? They're in well, they have they have multiple locations. Oh okay. They have one up in Dallas. I would question where the car came from. Hmm. It is cool though. Black with the yeah, red stripe is that one? That one? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's black. It's, it's not got my a favorite gray, spec. No. Gray Alcantara interior. Uh, it's nah. like the interior we had on that Scud. Yeah. Well, no, it's not. It's actually fabric in the insert. I like it. Oh. That's different. God, I want a scud. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a great car. You know what I'd be curious about is a 599 GTO. Yeah. Because it's got the scud transmissions, the SF2 transmission mm-hmm. in it. I would like to drive one. Yeah. Heck yeah. So I'd be curious if it like does it have that scud thud, but with V twelve. Hmm. That would be special. Yeah. Is there an XX SF ninety? I didn't hear that. Yeah, but... just. Oh yeah, it just, just came out. they did a video today on it or something. Oh shit! Okay. Yeah, and was... a spider. Nice. Oh, they call it the XX. I thought they no, called it's... it the uh, <clears throat> SF ninety something. What were they calling it? But I saw that, like, there was a leaked stuff about it. I haven't seen the actual thing mm-hmm. about it. Yeah, SF ninety XX Stradale. Interesting. Hmm. They're calling it XX. So that'll be for their yeah. um, what XX clients? That'll be their specialty car for the SF ninety. Right. But only to. It looks select pretty badass. <laughs> yeah. Probably invitation. It has the it has the gills on the back like the TDF. Oh, cool! I'm have to look it up. Yeah, isn't is it an FXX series where they own? Yeah, it? I would say is it is it's it the first XX road program? legal X first road legal XX car? It is an XX program. Oh, car. It's wow. a, it is, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, still a hybrid have, though. Oh, <laughs> there was a five to nine conversion listed on Bat today. Oh, that'll be interesting to see what that goes for. Wow. Yeah. I mean, hopefully they took the weight out of this XX car. <laughs> this is a good comment. Tyler's absolutely loving his EAG. Ferrari huh. recently called his favorite car in his yeah. fleet and looking at what he sold and kept pretty great endorsement. Nice. Yeah. I mean, it's a fantastic car as a manual. It really is. Yep. Like, what can I say? Like, it's, it's just, it is. <laughs> it's just yeah. a great car as a manual. Getting to ride around and even... Even in the like test phase before it was completely done, getting to ride around in California last year and yours was oh, holy was shit! Fun. That car was so fun. Even as a passenger, it was like holy shit! It's a it's a freaking awesome ripping car. up can- canyons, you know, hit slamming yeah. gears like oh my we, god! We drove the, we drove the shit out of that car. <laughs> yeah, <he did. laughs> 
We put like three thousand miles on it after it's converted. It's amazing. I I have to say, at least I'm I'm happy about that. It took forever to convert it, but when it finally was converted, we beat yep. the shit out of that thing. Yep. Yep. Yeah. It was like, all right, let's do it, man. So, all right, it's nine thirty. It's bedtime. We're overtime. Shit, it's nine thirty-one. Oh my god, we're a minute late. All right, we gotta wrap this up quick. Get her off quick. <laughs> Just go. Let's go to All commercial. Right. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you soon. Night, y'all. Uh, see you, yeah. See you next week.